They've reached the stage in their lives where things often feel like they're standing still. It makes me wish I'd go home and pet my own dog. The kids are long gone, and so are many old friends, and all too often there are feelings of loneliness and perhaps despair. I've seen them once since I've been in here. I don't get to go home most much. At this North Shore home for the elderly, it's one of the biggest days of the week. Hello, darling. It's visiting day at Forest Manor, and no relatives are coming by. You're a sweetheart. The residents aren't here to see Nick Cronus. Hey, Monty, come say hello. It's his dog, Monty, that's the star. I'll tell you what, what is the great part is, is to see people like this and smiles like that. That's what makes this all worthwhile. The dogs make no demands of people who've had demanding lives. They're all cute to me, just like babies. <laughs> they can often make people reach out who haven't reached out in years. And maybe that's one of the first times that they've actually made an effort to try to move that arm or to extend it. Or they can get others to speak words unspoken for decades. Um, sometimes when we have uh, residents in therapy, you know, who really aren't too excited to be there and you know just kind of kind of mellow um, once the dogs come in I mean we see a huge change in them as much as the residents appreciate the canine attention medical staff may love these dogs even more have you all seen anybody like who was in a shell to sort of come out of absolutely shell? the dogs are part of a program aptly named love on a leash Come on, Roxanne, let's go this way. Come on. <laughs> Sandy McMurtry is the organizer. She's gotten pretty used to it. So uh, when yeah. I when I talk to her and tell her that we have to visit, mm -hmm. time to go, she's um she's ready, huh? She's ready to go. Oh, no, she and her awesome. great Dane Roxanne are on a mission to visit a Navy veteran who doesn't talk all that much. Say hi. Oh, We've met Mr. Rayburn before. Come here, girl. Yeah, that's Come here. Roxanne. Come here, girl. Come here, Roxanne. Come here. Come here, big girl. Come here. Roxanne is good at what she does, raising smiles and prompting conversations, words that might have otherwise gone unsaid. Were you in the Navy? Yes, ma'am. Do, do you remember how many years? Yes, ma'am. Four years. Four years. There are patients who don't interact with us as staff, but they do interact with the animal. In a very short time, McMurtry's managed to get about a dozen volunteers on board. So I'm so proud. I mean, it just started with a little idea and it's just grown and grown. We got to talking about our dogs and, uh, and she told us about the program and here we are. So when I just retired, I wanted to go more involved with the dog therapies. Among her helpers, a former nurse who knows firsthand how these dogs can brighten up lives. Yeah. Just hold it here, gentle, G gentle. The canines are gentle, but strong enough to break down walls to communication. One of the um, clients was smiling at the uh, dog, and that was one of the first times that they'd seen the client smile. Pollock says dogs like her own Sashi have a calming effect and can often lower clients' blood pressure. Oh, he's laying down. But not any dog qualifies for this special duty. And they have to pass an 11 point control evaluation. And we have a trainer on the South Shore who comes over and we meet her on the lakefront and we do a group evaluation. And so they have to pass 11 points of basic obedience and temperament. And surprisingly, there haven't been any accidents. Oh, we haven't had that yet. so far. I mean, it could happen any time, I'm sure, but we haven't had that. <laughs> While many of these dogs are rescuing patients, it's somewhat ironic. A lot of them have been rescued themselves. One of them is a post-Katrina dog that was found wandering around, and the family, uh, you know, just took in the dog, took care of it, and just found a wonderful pet out of it, and now has turned in to a therapy dog. How are you? When it comes to therapy, the experts say canine care is tops. The animal program is really like the number one thing. Sandy McMurtry says she's got her hands full providing canine therapy to special needs children, the elderly, and the sick across much of the North Shore and Southern Mississippi. I would like to see it grow because as it is now, we have more organizations calling us to ask us to come visit than we do volunteers. She would now like to see other chapters pop up across the state. It's a great program. There's no argument here. It's company. For one thing, it's company and they're so pretty. No one would mind more love on a leash one bit. <laughs>
Rob Masson, Fox 8 News.